All right, so let's continue on for May 8th of 2015 with some prophecy and current events. One of the prophecies that I often talk about as well is Revelation 6.6. 6. And here we'll find that Jesus is telling us, giving us a warning that in the last days, people are going to have to work all day long for one very small meal. This is what he says in Revelation 6.6. 6. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, a measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny, and see that thou hurt not the oil and the wine. And then again, as I mentioned in my earlier video, Jesus talks about famines, and he talks about pestilence and diseases that are going to also hit and be part of this large group of signs that are all going to take place in the last days, all at the same time. And so I've been showing the people on a frequent basis, what's going on with the food production, what we're losing, and how we're losing it, and is a byproduct of the last day's birth pains. Now, part of the major food shortage that I could see happening in the very new future, because we're already in the birth pains of it, is the bees dying off. And I've been showing about the mass bee deaths around the world. And of course, Einstein even said that it would only take four years to destroy mankind if there were the lack of bees. In other words, if the bees went away, so would mankind in four years. Because we know that without pollination, we wouldn't have the crops that we have today. And if you want all of the information about this, you can go into my book and read that chapter and it shows you all the cases and you'll have all the links there. You can click the links to the news stories. They'll bring you the videos, scholarly work showing what's happening with the demise of the bees and how they're reducing in size. Now to keep you updated on what's going on, I want to bring you back to the United States to show you another article that just came out. It's becoming very common of what's taking place the bees dying off. Out of fear from many honeybees are a crucial part of our ecosystem, and they have been disappearing in record numbers over the last decade. And scientists are not exactly sure why. Here in Michigan, the bee population has dropped 30 to 50 percent over the last 10 years. WZDM 13's Eric Lloyd met with a local beekeeping club about the complicated life of bees and the mysterious way they are disappearing. <laughs> If we weren't to have any bees, we wouldn't have any food. No wheat, no fruits or vegetables, nothing. Love them or hate them, we need honeybees. While for many, bees conjure up images like this. Science shows their true value. Honeybees are actually totally different than any wasps or any other kind of bees. They're very docile. They don't want to sting you because they actually die when that happens. Michaela Putnam is the president of the Keeping Bees Club at Aquinas that's College. Here. That's where they would go for us if they were to swarm. The club raises bees here in Grand Rapids to study them and hopefully raise awareness of their importance. Sophomore Aaron Skorka is also a member. It's really impossible for our ecosystem to exist without them. We make sure that they're healthy. As part of the club's duties, these two are keeping an eye on the health of this hive, making sure there aren't any signs of death or abnormal activity. So you're saying that they don't want to sting me, but I can see them flying and trying to sting me? <laughs> Today, everything looked good. Plenty of activity and honey production. You were telling me earlier that you can get about 100 pounds, you think, of honey from a hive. Yep, so the bottom two here are called beeps and you leave those full of honey during the winter and that's about anywhere from 80 to 100 pounds and then once the flow goes you just stack more and more boxes on the top. The club lost a hive this spring due to what they believe was excess moisture in the hive but around the world apiarists are losing bees by the millions. They're just disappearing. It's kind of a creepy thing. What we're seeing in these colonies is that the bees are disappearing and so you know, you expect that you'll lose a portion of your, you know, your hives every year that happens. But the levels in which we're losing bees are great. Dr. Clark Danderson is an associate biology professor at Aquinas and is talking about colony collapse disorder, a phenomenon that is not truly understood by scientists. Normally if we have something, you know, like say if they get too much moisture in their hive or, you know, they get sick, usually the dead bees will be there in the hive. Um, but in the case of colony collapse disorder, they're not there. 
There are several theories. Pesticides, mites, and limiting their food sources are all possibilities. Danderson, like many others, believes it's a mix of all three. Whatever the cause, the rapid die-off is alarming when you realize just how much we rely on these little guys. Estimated that one out of every three mouthfuls of food you ingest are pollinated by bees. It's a really big problem and I think that a lot of more attention needs to be put on it because if it happens and the bees disappear, I mean, there's really no earth without the bees. In Grand Rapids, Eric Lloyd, WZZM 13 News. And in Michigan, many growers have had to ship in bees from other states to get their fruit and flowers pollinated. But the problem is gaining attention. In 2014, President Obama formed a task force to focus on colony collapse disorder. So here's the bottom line. Bees are disappearing. It's going to affect the, the food that we're eating. And it goes right along what Jesus warned about the last days. You take the bees away, people will be working all day long for one small meal. Why? Because there'll be less food. And when you have less food, it becomes very, very expensive. And only the rich would be able to buy it. And of course, during that time, everybody's going to be fighting everybody else for the food. It won't really matter if you're rich or not. Because when you're in the tribulation period, the plagues and the vials, the bowls, everything that's being poured out on an unrighteous generation is going to affect all people, not just the rich.